divide 873 by 1.2 now when you're dividing by a decimal uh, it's good to change this into a whole number so 1.2 if I want to change this into whole number this if I multiply by 10 this will become 12 so if you multiply 1.2 by 10 you'd also multiply this by 10 so this question changes to 8730 divided by 12 so both of them are equivalent now uh, I'll show you how to divide by the long division method okay so long division method is not very popular with teachers and students but I think it is a good strategy good way of dividing okay now yeah when you're dividing by 12 you're asking the question it's very important that you understand the place value now 0 is in the unit place or is in the ones place this 3 is in the ones so this is in the tens place so 3 stands for 30 7 stands for 700 and 8 stands for 8000 so now you ask the question <coughs> 8 goes how many times in sorry 12 goes in how, how many times in 8 so 12 doesn't go in 8 so 12 goes in 8 0 times so we are placing the 0 in the thousands place okay now you got 87 look at 87 so you're asking the question 12 goes in 87 how many times so let me write it here so you should be uh, good in times table so 12 times 7 is 84 12 times 7 is 84 so when I write 7 here yeah, this is in the hundreds place so this is in the thousands place th this is in the hundreds place so what you're doing is you're multiplying 12 times 700 okay so what you're doing is you're multiplying 12 times 7 which is in the hundreds place so you're multiplying 12 by 700 so it is 8400 so you should write 8400 here okay now you're taking away you take away so this is 300 this is 3 330 now this is in the tens place i'll write t for tens place so the number that you're multiplying is in the tens place so 12 goes how many times in 33 ignore this zero uh, so 12 goes so we know that 12 times 3 is 36 that is too big because this is when you write 3 this is in the tens place so this will become 360 360 is too big so this is not good enough so 12 times 2 is 24 so when you're writing 2 in the tens place, you're multiplying 12 times 20, which is 240. So 12 times 2, 2 is in the tens place, so 12 times 20 is 240. Okay, so what is, this is 330 take away 240. So you can do this algorithm, there's nothing wrong, so you're borrowing. So this is again 90. Okay, or 2, 330, take away 240 is 90. Now 12, now this is in the ones place. Now the number that you're going to write is in the ones place. So 12 goes in 90 how many times? So we already know 12 times 7 is 84. And 12 times 8 is 96. So this is too big. So this is again 12 times 7 is. So this is in the ones place which is 84 and here yeah, you can't go any further so this is 6 is the remainder okay but the answer is this the answer would be 727 and 6 twelfths I will explain this uh, in a different by a different example say suppose let me take a simple example say when you're dividing say say 15 by 4 4 goes in 15 how many times 4 goes in 15 3 times so that is 12 and 3 is the remainder 
So the answer is 3 and 3 quarters. So you write 3, this is the quotient, 3 from the quotient, three, this is the remainder, this is the quotient, and this is the divisor. So when you're dividing 15 by 4, you get 3 and 3 quarters. So this is how to check this. The question was 15 divided by 4. This is same as 3 and 3 quarters. So 3 is how many quarters? 3 is 12 quarters. So this is 12 quarters plus 3 quarters. I hope I'm not confusing you. 3, 3 and 3 quarters stands for 3 plus 3 quarters. So 12, sorry, 3 is 12 quarters plus 3 quarters, which is 15 quarters. That's what we started. So this is the quotient. This is the remainder and this is the divisor. So the answer is 727, 6 twelves is same as 727 and 1 half. So if you want to write this as a decimal, so this is 727.5 is the answer. So we have not used calculator. So this is how you can do without the calculator. So let's check this on a calculator. So this is 873 divided by 1.2. It's 727.5.